Welcome to this edition of Ellen's Tips for iOS. Just about any account that you own on the internet can be hacked. In this video, I'm going to give you a clear understanding of what two-factor authentication does and how it works. Two-factor authentication is a secondary measure that provides an access code along with your username and password. Maybe you don't even realize that you often use two-factor authentication. For example, you take money out of the Mac machine, you swipe your debit card, and then the machine requests that you enter your PIN code, or you give a bank teller a check, and the teller requests a secondary form of identification, such as your photo ID or your license. Basically, two-factor authentication requires two ways of proving your identity and can be used to protect various online accounts. Let's start by setting up two-factor authentication on our iOS device. I'm using my iPad Pro and I'm using it in landscape mode. You may be using yours in portrait mode. This will also work on an iPhone, any iPad, or iPod Touch. First thing we're going to do is come down to the Settings app. Tap on it to open. And then you're going to come to the very top where you see your name or Apple ID. Tap on that, it turns blue. And you're going to come over to the Settings area and you're going to tap on Password and Security. And now you're into the settings area. And as you can see, I already have two-factor authentication set up. Uh, so let me show you what it looks like on an iPhone uh, via an image where it hasn't been set up. So here we are on an iPhone where two-factor authentication has not been turned on. You'll tap on turn on two-factor authentication. You'll tap continue. Then you're going to enter the phone number where you want to receive a verification code. You can choose to receive the code by text message or even an automated phone call. You'll tap next and here's what the device will look like then. So the iPhone on the right is where we're setting up two-factor authentication and once we've entered the phone number it's going to pop up with a message that says enter the verification code. If you have a trusted device already in the Apple ecosystem, that verification code will turn up on that device, such as the iPad. You'll tap allow, and then that's where the six digit code will appear. You'll enter that code into your iPhone, and now two factor authentication will be enabled. If you're looking to set up two-factor authentication on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Yahoo, head on over to my blog post. There'll be a link in the video description, and I'll go into much more detail on how to set that up there. This gives you an overview of two-factor authentication and how it works. In the video description below, I've posted a link to a comprehensive website called Two-Factor Auth. It lists services and, and apps that support two-factor authentication and those that do not. Categories include banking, cloud computing, communication, email, health, social, and many more. I highly recommend that you utilize two-factor authentication on websites, especially your financial accounts. This, the time and effort that it takes to prove your identity is worth the added protection from hackers. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for a way to connect with me, you'll find me over at ellenstipsforios.com. There's a link in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.